friends in today's class we are going to learn direct speech and indirect speech so here speech means a conversation between two persons so before going to know the examples let me tell you the definition of direct speech direct speech definition is the words which are spoken by somebody are presented to somebody else as it is without any change is called as direct speech for example ragu said i am busy now this is the example of direct speech next now i am going to tell you the definition of indirect speech the words which are spoken by somebody are told to somebody else with small change is called as indirect speech for example ragu said that he was busy then so friends once again i am going to tell you topic name is direct speech and indirect speech indirect speech is also called as a reported speech it is very very important to topic for almost all competitive exams so direct speech means once again i am going to tell you the definition of direct speech it's very easy for example you have received some information from someone else you are going to pass that information to somebody so whatever the words you have got from the first person while you are going to pass that information to the third person if you don't change any word if you pass the information as it is that is called as direct speech indirect speech means you got some information from someone you, you have decided to give that information to somebody else if you put some changes in that uh, received information while you are leaving that information while you are going to give that information to somebody else if you put some changes that is called as indirect speech i'm going to give you one nice and natural example to make you understand well the definitions of direct speech and indirect speech your neighbor is pawan kalyan okay so today in the evening there is a function at your home so your dad has asked you to invite pawan kalyan so he went to pawan kalyan's home and uh, you invited him that uh, mr pawan kalyan uh, can you please come to our home to attend a function today in the evening like that you invited him he said so i am very busy now like that he said so you came to your home again your dad has asked you what did pawan kalyan tell you then you should give the information so in front of you what pawan kalyan has told you he told you that i am busy now so this is the sentence which was given by pawan kalyan if that sentence if the sentence which has been given by pawan kalyan if you tell your if you tell to your dad as it is that is called direct speech but you have to change that dad pawan kalyan told me that he was busy then so like that you should change the information if you don't change whatever the sentence has been given by pawan kalyan to you if you don't change it if you uh, pass that information as it is to your father that is called a direct speech if you put some changes in that information after changing some words okay after adding some other information if you give that information to your father that is called as indirect speech one more example uh, next week you are going to celebrate your birthday so your mother told you my dear son for your birthday function invite your master go and invite your master you said you said yes okay mommy i will invite my master so you called your master uh, master uh, i request you to attend my birthday function next week next week so he said i will come i will surely attend your birthday function so these are the words of your master okay i will attend your birthday function next week so again you are going to talk to your mother your mother will ask you now okay what has your master told you uh, then mummy my master has told me that he would come or he would attend the function the following week like this you should change the words 
if you tell as it is whatever the words you have received from your master if you tell the all the words as it is that is called a direct speech if you change some words after getting that information you should change the information after changing the words if you pass the information that is called as indirect speech now let's learn how to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech every direct speech sentence contains two verbs every in every direct speech sentence there will be two parts in two parts there will be two verbs first verb is first part verb is called reporting verb second part verb is called reported verb friends listen to me once again now i am going to tell you how to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech in every direct speech sentence there will be two parts okay so first part second part or ing part ed part in every direct speech sentence there will be two verbs reporting verb reported verb reporting verb will be before comma reported verb will be in inverted commas so the first verb is called reporting verb the second verb is called reported verb so if you want to change a direct speech into indirect speech you should know some rules and regulations there will be some changes in words there will be so many changes in words for example in direct speech if you use this in indirect speech you should use that for example these it becomes those today that day now then ago before so like that today that day tonight that night this year next year yesterday the previous day last week the previous week last month the previous month last year the previous year for example tomorrow that becomes the following day next week that becomes the following week next month that becomes the following week next sunday or monday that becomes the following monday or sunday okay next month or next year next year means the following year so friends like this whenever you see the words this it becomes that in the direct speech this is there that becomes that this becomes those today becomes that day tonight becomes that night so like that you should change the words you should learn this this table is is important the table uh, which is uh, <coughs> being given here is very very important you should know how to change the words let's see the table which can help you how to change a direct speech into indirect speech see friends what i have told you in every direct speech sentence there will be two parts first part second part or first part is called ing part second part is called e ed part so up to comma that part is called first part the sentence which has been written in inverted commas that part is called second part so in the first part one verb is there no that is called reporting verb so while you are going to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech you should observe whether the direct whether that uh, re, uh, reporting verb is in the present tense or past tense whatever the reporting verb is there in the direct speech especially in the first part okay if that reporting verb is in the past tense then only you should change the tense if the reporting verb is in the present tense you should not change the tense so friends listen to me it is very very important topic most of the students get confused but you should not get confused like that see for example you are going to change a sentence i am going to tell you one example she said i sing songs this is one example she said comma i sing songs it is the example of direct speech now i am going to tell you how to change this example into indirect speech ah she said two words are there in the first part she said this is called one part this is called first part second part i sing songs see friends now in the examination you also must know how to remember whether it is a direct speech or indirect speech because sometimes they will give you one sentence and they ask you change the speech they don't ask you change into indirect speech they may give direct speech or they may give indirect speech also 
So that's what you must know how to find out whether the sentence is in direct speech or indirect speech. Now I am going to give you some hits how to find out a sentence is in direct speech. See friends, after the first part if there is any comma and if the second part is in inverted commas that sentence is called direct speech. Punctuations are very very important in this topic. So you can easily find out a direct speech sentence. In indirect speech sentence we should not use commas, semicolons or up, up, uh, inverted commas and all. Only in direct speech uh, there will be two parts after first part comma will be there after the second part there will not be any full stop at all. The second part should be written in inverted commas. Here is a here is one example. She said I sing songs. Now we are going to change this example into indirect speech. Uh, she is the subject here said it is the verb. In this sentence two verbs are there. Sing, sing is also verb, said is also verb. So two verbs are there. I have told you, you know in every in every direct speech sentence there will be two parts. First part, second part or first part is called ing part, second part is called ed part. So this is called reporting verb that is called reported verb. So said is called reporting verb, sing is called reported verb. So friends before going to change this direct speech into indirect speech you should observe whether the reporting verb is in the present tense or past tense. So said it is in the past for example says it is in the present tense. Friends, whenever the reporting verb is in the past tense only, the tense should be changed. Here in this example, she said the reporting verb is in the past tense. So, we should change the tense. Uh, right. So, now I am going to tell you how to change this direct speech sentence into indirect speech. So, what is the first word of the direct speech? She. So, while you are going to change this sentence into indirect speech, the first word that is she that should be written as it is. So, friends listen to me, while you are going to change a direct speech into indirect speech, the first word whatever the subject uh, is given either she or they are he, Raju, Rani, Kiran, Kishore, Praveen, Prakash uh, that subject should be written as it is. So, she should be written as it is fine. What next said? Said becomes a said only. Sometimes they may give told, even told also should be written as it is. She said, sometimes they may give, she told. If they give told also, that word also should be written as it is. Some other times they may give like this, said to, that becomes told. So friends, now, just now you have seen change, changes in words. This becomes that, those, uh, these becomes those, today becomes that day, yesterday becomes the previous day, tomorrow becomes the following day. Like that, there will be some changes in reporting verbs also. In the direct speech, the first in the first verb uh, in the first part, there will be one verb now. That verb is called reporting verb. In reporting verb also, there should be some changes. So, said for example, in the examination, in the question, in the first part of the direct speech, they have given said. Whenever they give said, that word should be written as it is in the indirect speech. If they give told, that word also should be written as it is. Sometimes they may give in that first part said to. Whenever this word is given, the word said to, that should be changed into told. Said to becomes told. So three words will be given. When the reporting verb is in the past tense, sometimes said, some, some other times told, some other times said to. If they give said, it should be written as it is. If they give told, that is also should be written as it is. If they give said to, that should be changed into told. Now you tell me friends, now I am going to tell you the reporting verbs of uh, direct speech. Uh, now you change into indirect speech, said, this is direct speech reporting verb. Uh, what should be written in the indirect speech, said only, good. For example, told, this one also should be written as it is. Then said to, sometimes they may give said to also, that becomes told. So said becomes said. Told becomes told, said to becomes told. Here, let us see the second part of this direct speech. I sing songs. I sing songs. See, this sentence has been written in inverted commas. So, friends, in every direct speech sentence after the first part, the second part uh, is in inverted commas. Now, 
Before going to change the second part into indirect speech, you should observe which tense it is. So friends, immediately you should not uh, try to change this direct speech into indirect speech. Before going to change the second part of the direct speech into indirect speech, you should observe which tense it is. In the in inverted commas, there is one sentence, no? That is, I sing songs. You should find out which tense it is. Come on, tell me, friends, which tense it is? I sing songs. I is one subject. Sing is verb first form. I sing songs. Is it simple present tense or not? Yes, you are right. It is simple present tense. Mm. Then, in which tense we should change it? We should not write as it is. We should change the tense, friends. In in the direct speech, if they give sentences from simple present tense, we should change into simple past. Please remember, we should change the tenses also. We should change the words. If they give now, we should write then. If they give this, we should write that. If they give today, we should write that day. If they give yesterday, we should write the previous day. If they give tomorrow, we should write the following day. Like that, changes must be there in direct speech and indirect speech. So, how many types of changes are there friends you see in the examination you have seen one question in that question there should be three changes please remember change number one in reporting verb the first change is in the reporting verb sometimes they give said some other times they give told some other times they may give said to so this is called reporting verb there should be a change in reporting verbs I have already told you, said becomes said, told becomes told, said to becomes told. This is the change in reporting verbs. Next, where is the second change in the words? In, in, the, in the direct speech, they will give some words, adverbs. Now, this, like that some words will be given. Even those words also should be changed. Such words should not be written as it is in the indirect speech. Next, the last change, the third change is tense there is a change in tense friends while you are going to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech in that inverted commas one sentence is there no you should find out from which tense it is what is the tense of this sentence you should know the name of the tense come on which tense it is i sing songs subject plus v1 plus extra words are there okay this is simple present tense whenever you find out a simple present tense in inverted commas that should be changed into simple past come on let's change this direct speech into indirect speech she said she should be written as it is in in indirect speech said that is also should be written as it is uh, next she said after she said comma is there so friends in indirect speech we should delete that comma we should not use comma in the place of comma we should use one conjunction that is that friends in the direct speech sentence after first part one comma is there no in indirect speech while we are going to change this sentence into indirect speech we should not write this comma as it is comma should be changed in the place of comma we should use one conjunction that is that so in the place of comma what should we use friends that okay she said okay she said in the place of comma the conjunction is that okay first part has been changed okay let's see the second part i sing songs it should be changed into indirect speech ah. so i should we re, should we write as it is this i no we should not write because one girl told you i sing songs you should change no this is indirect speech if you don't change if you write as it is that is called a direct speech again then what is the use of learning indirect speech? We are friends in today's class. We are going to learn how to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech. So no direct speech sentence should be written as it is. In case if we write this question as it is, how can it is called indirect speech? So friends, in indirect speech, we should not write as it is. We should not write as it is. So we should see some changes. I sing songs. I becomes a she. I should not be written as it is. I becomes a she. Uh, sing. That verb also should not be written as it is. Sing becomes a sang. Next, songs that is common. So, answer is she sang songs. This is the answer. The total answer is, the question is she said, okay. 
I sing songs. This is the direct speech sentence, right? Answer is, she said that she sang songs. This is in simple past. This is in simple present tense. So friends, in the examination, whenever you happen to see a sentence from simple present tense, you should change that sentence into simple past. When should you change the tense? Whenever the reporting verb is in the past tense, then only you should plan to change the tense. Sometimes in the examination, they will give you the reporting verb in the present tense. For example, she says, not she said, she says, I sing songs. Now we should not change the tense. She says, comma, I sing songs. We should not change the tense. Of course, some words will be pronounced will be changed. But tense should not be changed, friends. See, she says, says is a pra, says is a reporting verb. Is it, is it past or present? Says present, right? Whenever the reporting verb is given in the present tense, we should not change the tense. So answer is, she says that. She sings songs. See, sings same tense. In the direct speech, simple present tense is there. In the indirect speech, also simple present tense is there. So friends. Don't feel bored. Some of you may think, may think that sorry, keep on explaining the first example. So it is a somewhat a difficult topic. So since it is the first example, I am going to take a little bit risk. So once again, let me explain. What are the formalities that we should follow when we are changing a direct speech into indirect speech? Friends, shall we see another example? That is the second example. They said, we watch movies. This is the example. Friends, tell me is it direct speech sentence or indirect speech sentence? Sir, what is that? Are we looking like innocent children? In that uh, slide, it is clear, uh, clearly appearing that it is written in the direct speech box. We can easily know that this sentence is from direct speech. Okay. So, in this table, uh, headings are there, direct speech and indirect speech. But how to find out in the examination? Just now, I have already told you, friends. So, you must learn that how to remember, I am sorry, how to find out whether the sentence is in direct speech or indirect speech. It is important because in the examination, they don't always ask change into indirect speech. Just they will give you one sentence, change the speech. Like this, they will ask you, what will you do then? So, that's what you must know how to find out a sentence is in direct speech or indirect speech. So, once again, I am going to explain. Come on. Change this direct speech into indirect speech. So, what is the direct speech here? They said, we watch movies. Come on, try to change into indirect speech. Don't see the answer. Without seeing the answer, try to change this direct speech into indirect speech. Uh, in the first part, what is there? They said. So, what I have told you friends, <coughs> in the direct speech, in the direct speech sentence, the first word, whatever it is given, they are he or she that should be the first word should be written as it is they what is the first word of this direct speech they they should be written as it is okay they after they what is there said even said also should be written as it is so whenever they give said also that should be written as it is if they give told also that is also should be written as it is if they give said to that should be changed said to becomes a told here they gave said okay said should be written as it is so first part is they said in the indirect speech also, they said. Uh, what is there after they said, after the first part, what is there? Comma is there. So, in the second, uh, in indirect speech, you should not use that comma. In the place of comma, you should use one conjunction, that is that. Now, you should add two parts with a conjunction. What is the definition of conjunction? In parts of speech, you will learn the definition of conjunction. Conjunction means it is a word which joins one word with another word or one sentence with another sentence. So here in, in indirect speech, we are going to add these two parts with one conjunction that is that. Okay. First part has been changed successfully. That's great. Come, let's see how to change the second part into indirect speech. Okay. We watch movies. Friends, what I told you, before going to change the second part of the direct speech sentence into indirect speech, you should know the tense name, which tense it is. We watch movies, which tense? Simple present tense or simple past? Simple past? Yes? No. 
it is simple present tense how can we say that it is simple present tense after the subject v1 is there v1 means the first form of the verb is there watch so we watch movies it is simple present tense so simple present tense should be changed into simple past so friends tenses should not be written as it is in the examination in the direct speech if they give sentence from simple present tense that should be changed into simple past if they give a question from present continuous that should be changed into past continuous if they give a question from present perfect tense that should be changed into past perfect tense if they give a question from present perfect continuous that should be changed into past perfect continuous so tense tense must be changed when shouldn't we change the tense when the reporting verb is in the present tense then only we should not change so here the answer is we watch movies no answer is uh, they they watched movies you may get it out sir why should we change this we how did this we become they see friends while you are going to change this uh, direct speech into indirect speech you have to visualize something is going on somewhere if you can visualize only you can get the right answer you should visualize something is going on somewhere for example they they means here your neighbors they told you okay we watch movies now you are going to give that information to me now i am asking you dear friends tell me okay once again i am going to repeat this second example they said we watch movies so now we are going to change it into indirect speech so they said in the place of comma we should use that they said that so in in inverted commas what is there we watch movies we becomes they you may ask sir why should we change why should this we uh, become they because uh, what i have told you while you are going to write answers uh, in this topic you should visualize something is going on somewhere just here they means for example your neighbors your neighbors told you we watch movies okay now you are going to give that information to me so while you are giving that information uh, here how can you use the same words in front of you they say that we watch movies after coming here you should say that sir they watch movies they watch movies see like that we becomes they so they watched movies uh, again your doubt is how can watch becomes watched see i have told you no tense should be changed in direct speech simple present tense is there that should be changed into simple past that is example number 2 let's see the third example he said to me you are a kind person so friends third example he said to me you are a kind person uh, come on let's change this sentence into indirect speech they i am sorry he said to me said to becomes told said to becomes a told he becomes he only said to becomes told he told okay after to me is there so after to if they give me if they give us if they give him if they give her or if they give any name that should be written as it is so he said to me means he told me in the place of comma what do you use that he told me that okay you are uh, next second part you are a kind person will you write as it is no you should not write as it is you should change see imagine that one person spoke to you one person has told you that you are a kind person okay now you are going to give that information in front of me so you should say that uh, he told me that i was a kind person in front of you he might have told you you are a kind person while you are passing this information to someone sir he told me that okay i was a kind person like this you should change next shall we see the next example the next example is they said he writes letters they said he writes letters shall we change this into indirect speech uh, they becomes they only starting word should be written as it is i have told you next said said also should be written as it is sometimes in the place of said they may give told also told also should be written as it is okay they said mean, means as it is it should be written they said in the place of comma we should write conjunction that is that so in inverted commas what is there he writes letters ah uh, is it simple present tense or simple past he writes letters subject is there 
verb first form is there means it is a simple present tense so simple present tense should be changed into simple past friends you must remember uh, which tense should be changed into which tense so simple present tense should be changed into simple past present continuous should be changed into past continuous present perfect tense should be changed into past perfect present perfect continuous tense should be changed into past perfect continuous tense here he writes letters he should be changed or not because who gave this information they gave you information so see should we change or not they said they said that uh, he wrote letters they gave information about that person here the fourth example is they said he writes letters come on without seeing the answer can you change into indirect speech come on try you can easily change because you have uh, uh, heard three examples very slowly i have explained i hope you can surely change this direct speech into indirect speech come on they said this is the first part the first part should be written as it is they said no changes after the first part what is there comma is there in the in the place of comma you should write conjunction that is that okay he writes uh, letters come on before going to change the second part into indirect speech what should you observe you should observe the tense he writes letters is it simple present tense or not yes you are right it is simple present tense then simple present tense should be changed into simple past or simple future simple past so come on change this sentence into simple past he writes letters is simple present tense what is the simple past of this he wrote letters wow good that's great this is the answer they said that he wrote letters okay let's see the last example he said to her i hate you so the last example of present uh, simple present he said to her i hate you come on try to change this direct speech into indirect speech he said to her he should the first i have already told you the first word should be written as it is what is the first word of this direct speech he whether it is he or she or they are raju rani or kiran whatever it is it should be written as it is he should be written as it is that's fine okay said to i have told you said to becomes told said to becomes said told becomes told said to becomes told so said to means told he told after to uh, her is there her so whatever is given after to sometimes they may give him sometimes they may give them so whatever is given there that should be written as it is so he told her after Uh, next comma in the place of comma you should use that i hate you is it simple present tense or simple past i is the subject hate is the v1 v1 means the first form of the verb i hate you come on change uh, what is the answer i becomes should we change i or should we uh, should uh, should i written as it is come on tell me uh, i becomes uh, he you may ask sir why should we change this i why should i becomes he see friends just imagine that one boy is speaking to one girl imagine here is one boy and one girl imagine uh, here one boy is there one girl is there boy name is kiran boy uh, that girl name is kirti so in front of kirti kiran said i hate you so you heard this matter right now you are going to give this information to me uh, come on tell me uh what did uh, kiran tell to kirti uh sir now you are giving the information sir uh kiran said that he hated her see like this you should give no information so i means here who kiran so that's what so that i becomes he but in this sentence kiran is not there he is there so that he should be written as it is so he told her he told her that he hated her for ex- here the question is he said to her that becomes he told her i hate you means he hated her so this is the example of the last one so friends like this in the examination they may they will give questions from simple present tense so whenever you see any direct speech sentence from simple present tense this is the process of changing into indirect speech if they give uh, 100 sentences also 100 sentences should be changed into simple past in the indirect speech 
uh, especially in that inverted commas, if you find out any simple present tense sentence, that should be changed into simple past. Next, present continuous tense. Okay. Now let us learn how to change direct speech sentences into indirect speech from present continuous. So friends, tense wise we are going to learn. We are going to learn in a systematic manner. Tense wise we are going to learn. See, uh, you have good idea about present continuous. What is present continuous? The tense which is used to indicate an action which is going on right now is called as present continuous. That is fine. In present continuous, there are three helping verbs. They are am, is, are. And uh, we should use ing form in present continuous. So, you know very well about present continuous. So, in the examination, in the, in the, in the direct speech, uh, in that uh, <coughs> inverted commas, if they give present continuous, you should change into past continuous. Friends, please remember in the examination, whenever they give any question from present continuous, huh, you should change that into past continuous, right. Here, come on, see, see that slide. What is the example here? He said, I am watching TV now. He said, I am watching TV now. For example, that person is your neighbor, okay. So, in front of you, what, what did he say? I am watching TV now. Now I am asking you, friends come on tell me, just now you have gone to your neighbor's home, when you went there, what did you talk to him, what did he tell you, come on tell me, now you should tell me no, in front of you he spoke one sentence that I am watching TV now, that is called a direct speech, now you should change this direct speech into indirect speech. So he said, this is the first part, he should be written as it is, said also should be written as it is, he said, in the place of comma we should use that. He said that uh, I becomes he because we are talking about that person. So I should not be written as it is. I am watching TV now. Is it present continuous or not? See, am is are there. Ing form is there. I am watching TV now. So uh, let's change this present continuous into past continuous. I becomes he here because we are talking about that person in front of you. He said that I am watching TV now. That I becomes he. So, answer is he was watching TV then, now becomes then. I have also told you the change of the words, now becomes then. So, this is the answer. Next, shall we see the second question that is she said to him, she said to him, I am waiting for you. Come on, uh, let us change this direct speech into indirect speech. She said to him. She, the first word, she should be written as it is, set to becomes told, she told uh, him, him should be written as it is, she told him. In the place of comma, we should use that, she told him that. Uh, what is the sentence in inverted commas? I am waiting for you. Hmm. Come on, tell me, this I should be written as it is or it should be changed? No, I, I becomes she. Why should I become only she? Why should not I become he? You may ask a doubt like this, okay, you only should tell whether uh, this I should become he or she. Who told you that I am waiting for you? She told you. So that is what I becomes a she. She was waiting for him then, now becomes a then. If they give now, we should change into then. But in this sentence, they did not give now. In the first example, they have given now. In the second example, they did not give. So, if they do not give, you should not write. Just what did she tell you? I am waiting for you, that is all. I am waiting for you, that is all. So, answer is, uh, she told him that she was waiting for him. This is the answer. She told him that she was waiting for him. Next, let us see the last example of present continuous. They said, they said, we are writing an exam. They means, two, three members told you. They said, we are writing an exam. Come on, change into indirect speech. They said, starting two words should be written as it is. They said, in the place of comma, that. They said that. So, in front of you, they said that we are writing an exam. That is present continuous. So, they were writing an exam is the answer. Th they said that they were writing an exam. So, th these are the examples of present uh, continuous. Next, uh, present perfect tense. In the examination, they may give questions from present perfect tense also. How can you find out present perfect tense? 
do you have any idea of uh, present perfect tense do you want me to tell you the definition of present perfect tense do you want me to tell you how to find out present perfect tense okay fine very easy friends so present perfect tense what is the definition of present perfect tense the tense which is used to indicate an action which has been completed just now or recently is called as present perfect tense in present perfect tense there are two helping verbs they are have and has and in present perfect tense the main verb must be always in the third form okay so whenever you find out have or has plus uh, the third form of the verb thus that sentence is from present perfect tense so in the examination if they give any question from present perfect tense if they give any direct speech sentence from present perfect tense that should be changed into past perfect don't forget by mistake if you forget by mistake if you don't know in which tense it should be changed you cannot uh, get the right answer so if they give direct speech from simple present tense that should be changed into simple past if they give direct speech from present continuous that should be changed into simple past past continuous so simple present tense becomes a simple past present continuous becomes a past continuous present perfect becomes a past perfect tense okay so like that you should change the example <coughs> uh, right you should change the tense here what is the example she said to them she said to them i have taken my lunch imagine just visualize she said to them one lady uh, told that i have taken my lunch now you should change this into indirect speech uh, come on she said to them uh, she should be written as it is said to become told she told them okay she told them in the place of comma we should use that okay she told them this is the first part she told them that uh, what is the sentence in inverted commas i have taken my lunch so that girl told you that that girl told them i have taken my lunch here i becomes a she i becomes a she she had taken her lunch my becomes her you may ask sir why my becomes her because uh, she told about her lunch so that's what okay my becomes a her so the question is she said to them i have taken my lunch answer is she told them that she had taken her lunch did you understand next let's see the second example they said direct speech sentence is they said comma uh, come on after uh, comma what is there what sentence has been written in inverted commas come on see the slide and tell me what has been written we have written an exam is is it is it there good we have written an exam so they uh, come on let's change they said it should be written as it is they said we have written an exam means we becomes they we becomes they they had written an exam this is present perfect tense no it should be changed into past perfect tense answer is they said that they had written an exam next one more example of present perfect tense he said to me here is one person for example his name is sudhir okay one person just imagine that no one is there in front of me except you only you are listening to me just imagine that in front of me one person is called sudhir is sitting in front of me okay ah uh, he just imagine that mr sudhir is talking to me he said to me okay the person sudhir is talking to me like this he said to me what did he tell me i have taken your books oh god friends don't feel bored just imagine whatever i am going to tell you <coughs> in front of me who is sitting sudhakar or sudhir sudhakar no sudhir i have told you i have told you about sudhir i did not tell you about sudhakar uh, who is sitting in front of me sudhakar okay now a conversation is going on between sudhakar and as reddy that's fine come on you listen to me very clearly so in front of me uh, he is sitting and he is talking i have taken your books this person has told me that uh just now i have kept my books here i started searching for my books oh god who has taken my books like that i started searching mr Su sudhir said sir i have taken your books oh god you have taken see i have taken your books he told me like this now you are asking sir what did uh, mr sudhakar tell you you are asking no now i should tell about uh, sudhir no not sudhakar sudhir right so you are asking what did uh, sudhir uh, tell you sir 
so now i should tell the answer uh, so he told me that he told me that he had taken my books so in front of me mr sudhir said your books your becomes my because he he has taken my books in front of me he, he told me that sir i have taken your books i have taken your books you are asking me so that's what i should tell you that he had taken my books so you may ask why he had taken why not he has taken what i have told you tense should be changed i told you present perfect tense should be changed into past perfect tense so that's what answer is he told me that he had taken my books this is something about present perfect tense next present perfect continuous tense so friends in the examination sometimes they will give questions from present perfect continuous also what will you do if they give direct speech from simple present tense you have to change into simple past okay if they give direct speech from present continuous that should be changed into past continuous if they give direct speech from present perfect tense that should be changed into past perfect tense if they give a sentence from present perfect continuous tense so friends now i am going to tell you how to change direct speech sentences into indirect speech sentences okay from present perfect to continuous tense here is one example come on see the slide see and tell me what is the example what is the example number one come on see the slide and tell me so we said oh come on we said that is first part after first part what is there come on see and tell me we have been learning english for two months oh ho oh. we said we said after we said comma is there we have been learning english for two months okay come on i don't tell you i have already explained very clearly very slowly i can say that i have eaten your brain like anything you only should change this direct speech into indirect speech come on don't see the answer don't see the answer okay uh, come on starting word is what what is the first part in the direct speech we said come on that should be written as it is we said in the place of comma what do you use that we said that uh, second part we have been learning english for two months that should be written as it is because you are talking about yourselves only we should be written as it is only we said that we had been learning english for two months see present perfect continuous tense should be changed into past perfect continuous tense let's see the second example come on read and tell me what is the second example raju said to rani who said to whom raju said to rani come on tell me what did raju said to Ra what did raju say to rani i have been living in hyderabad since 1980 so friends raju said to rani so just imagine here, here raju is sit, uh, sitting and rani is sitting raju and rani are talking here just imagine that so raju is telling i have been living in hyderabad since 1980 while raju and rani are talking you heard this matter okay now you should pass this information to me come on friends tell me what did raju tell to uh that girl come on what did he tell her uh sir answer is sir raju told rani raju told rani that he had been living in hyderabad since 1980 see this is present perfect continuous it should be changed into past perfect continuous tense what next what is the next example third, what is the third example gautami said it to sarita what did gautami say to sarita i have been working for 6 months okay here two girls are there who are they one girl name is gautami and another girl name is sarita what are these two girls are talking so gautami is telling that i have been working for 6 months so while these two girls are talking you heard it come on you tell me what is going on what did gautami tell sarita ah uh, answer is gautami said to said to becomes told no gautami told sarita gautami told sarita that okay she had been here she means who either sarita or gautami gautami because she is telling right so gautami told sarita that she had been working for 6 months she had been working for 6 months this is the answer okay friends next so friends i thank you very much successfully you have completed 
four tenses. With your kind cooperation, I am going to tell you the next tense that is simple past tense. In the examination, they will give direct speech sentences from simple past also. What will you do? If they give a direct speech sentence from simple past, in which tense it should be changed? So friends, whenever they give any direct speech sentence in the examination from especially simple past, that should be changed into past perfect tense. If they give simple present tense, that should be changed into simple past. If they give present continuous, that should be changed into past continuous. If they give present perfect, that should be changed into past perfect. If they give present perfect continuous, that should be changed into past perfect continuous. Okay. First four tenses have been finished. Fifth tense is simple past. If they give direct speech from simple past, you should change that is tense into past perfect tense. Did you understand? Good. Shall we see one example here? Come on, see the slide and tell me what is the example number one. Come on, don't look at me. See the slide and uh, tell me. Read that example. What is their example number one? She said, I purchased a car last year. She said, I purchased a car last year. Okay. One girl is there and okay, beside you, one lady is there. So you, you are speaking to her. So she told you that, okay, she had purchased a car. You asked, what did you purchase? She said, she said this matter. So now I am asking you, come on tell me friends, what did you speak to that girl? What did that girl tell you? Sir, she said that, she said that, she had purchased a car the previous year. So here last year should be changed into the previous year. So words also should be changed. Okay, apart from the tense, even the words also should be changed. In the, in the question, if they give yesterday, that should be changed into the previous day. If they give last week, we should write the previous week. If they give last Sunday, we should write the previous Sunday. If they give last month, we should write the previous year. If they give last year, we should change into the previous year. So here in the question, they have given last year. That should be changed into the previous year. Next, let's see the example number two. What is example number two? I said, okay, I said, comma, next second part, I met my friends yesterday, okay, now you are asking me, just imagine that I am telling about my friends, okay, I am telling about my friends, ah, come on, I said, okay, I met my friends yesterday, ah, so now I am telling you, I said, answer, I said, I had met my friends I had met my friends uh, the previous day. This is the answer. I said that uh, I did not uh, use uh, conjunction. After in the place of comma, we should use conjunction. So I said that I had met my friends uh, the previous day. Next, next example. Sanjay said to Sujata, I directed a movie last month. See, just imagine that here two persons are, for example, wife and husband. Just imagine that here, wife and husband, these both are talking here, Sanjay and Sujata. So Sanjay uh, told that, Sanjay said to Sujata, I directed a movie last month. You heard this matter. Now you should give this information to me. Come on friends, what did Sanjay tell to Sujata? Uh, Sanjay told Sujata that he had directed a movie he had directed a movie the previous month. This is the answer because that is simple past now that should be changed into past perfect. Sanjay told Sujata that he had directed a movie the previous month. Okay, they have given last month. If they have given last year means that should be changed into the previous year but they have given here last month. Last month means the previous month. For example, last week, the previous week, yesterday, the previous day. This is something about simple past. Next tense name is past continuous tense. In the examination, sometimes they will give you examples from past continuous tense also. Okay. How can you remember, uh, how can you find out a sentence from past continuous? In past continuous, there are two helping verbs, they are was and were, was and were. So, was were plus inform should be there in past continuous. 
let's see one example if they give uh, direct speech from past continuous that should be changed into past perfect continuous tense okay if they give present continuous that should be changed into past past continuous if they give direct speech from past continuous that should be changed into past perfect continuous tense here is one example ragu said to srinu okay i was working in libya ragu said to srinu i was working in libya answer ragu told srinu ragu told srinu that okay uh, he had been working in libya he had been working in libya that is the answer <coughs> Next example number two, Raju said to Ramu, Raju said to Ramu, I was doing MPhil. Raju and Ramu, two persons are talking here. Okay. Uh, Raju said to Ramu that I was doing MPhil. Ah, come on, you heard this matter and now you are going to uh, tell me. Come on, what is the answer? Raju told Ramu that he had been doing MPhil. He had been doing Mfil. So friends, in today's class, we have learnt up to past continuous. So six tenses have been completed successfully. In the next class, let's learn from past perfect tense.